In this video, we're going to learn how to find the sum and average of each row in a 2D array using C. The first thing we'll do is define preprocessor constants for the number of rows and columns in our 2D array. So here we'll have number define rows five and number define columns five. And we can use these preprocessor constants whenever we need to reference the number of rows and columns in our 2D array. Next, we'll declare and initialize our 2D array. So here we'll have float array rows and columns. And this here will declare a 2D float array with five rows and five columns. Next, we'll initialize the 2D array. Here we'll have is equal to, and we'll have one, two, three, four, five in the first row and then 11111 in the second row, followed by 22222 in the third row. And then let's have 13579 in the fourth row, followed by, let's say, 45678 in the fifth row. And this here will declare and initialize our 2D array floats. So in this 2D array here, this first row here is at index zero, and this next row here is at index one, and so on for each row. So what we'll do is create a loop that's gonna go through our 2D array one row at a time using a counter variable that's going to go from zero up until rows. So here we'll have four, int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. So here, this loop is going to go through each row index using the counter variable i. Next, we'll create an inner loop, and this inner loop is going to go through the values in the row at the index i at each column. So the values at each column are at the indexes zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. So similar to our outer loop, this loop is gonna use a counter variable to go from zero up until columns. So here we'll have four int j is equal to zero, j is less than columns, and then j plus plus. So here we're using the counter variable j to go through all the column indexes. And what we're going to do is go through all the column indexes for each row index. And what we'll do is calculate the sum of each row. So we'll have to declare a variable to store the sum of a row. We'll have here float sum is equal to zero. Then what we'll do is add together all the values in a row. So in this inner loop here, we're going to have sum plus equals the array at the index i, j. So this inner loop here for the current row index i is going to go through all the column indexes using its counter variable j. We're going to take all the elements in that row and add them to the sum variable. That will give us the sum of the elements in that row. We could output the sum here. We could have printf row percent d sum is equal to percent f and then backslash n for a new line. We could output i here to output the row index and then sum to output the sum of the elements in this row. Now with each iteration of the outer loop here, we want to output the sum of the next row in the 2D array. What we need to do is reset sum to zero before we add the elements of that next row to sum. So here we'll have sum is equal to zero to reset sum to zero. So this program should now be able to give us the sum of each row in our 2D array. Let's try it out. We'll save, compile, and run our program. And we see here that we do get the sum of each row in our 2D array. Let's try to find the average now. To find the average, we'll declare another variable called average. It's also going to be a float type variable. Now what we'll do 
is calculate the average for each row by dividing the sum for that row by the number of columns in that row. So here, we'll have average is equal to sum divided by columns. So with each iteration of the outer loop, we're going to calculate the sum of the elements for the row with the index i. We're then going to take that sum and divide it by the number of columns in our 2D array. That's going to give us the average for that row. We can now put the average too. Here we'll have printf row percent d average is equal to percent f backslash n backslash n and we'll have i for the row index and then we'll output average for the row average. So if we save, compile, and run our program, we can now see that we calculate the average in addition to the sum for each row. And these averages make sense. Here we have a sum of 10 and an average of two. And given that we have five elements per row, that average makes sense because 10 divided by five would be two. So this is how we can calculate the sum and average of each row in a 2D array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.